in 2012 I decided to move to London and I had to make a living here I had to obviously to you know, pay rent and this and that I couldn't find a job around issues around Roma and so on so I you know, found in the end I found a job in construction but I had a passion of doing something I always wanted to be involved in this kind of you know things and you know by chance I came across over a job that Roma Support Group was advertising at the time and I've started working for the Roma Support Group in October 2016. I knew that I just want to work here. I knew that I just want to to work around issues with Roma and all, you know, these kind of things. I didn't knew much about campaigning, that's true. But, you know, I, I had some experience. Um, I was Roma myself. Um, and uh, I think that, that helped uh, for getting this job. There was not much of understanding of campaigning and these kind of things. And, uh, you know, in Romania, you know, even more in the Roma community, because we, we don't, we never had this kind of, how to say, like, you know, fighting um, 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 skill or will. We, we became really good at surviving. You know, we've done that for hundreds of years. And, um, you know, we never had this, this skill of, of standing up and fighting for our rights and things like this. I don't know, I think because of the, you know, centuries of the oppression that, you know, centuries of oppression that we went through. In my mind, and in, in our mind, um, like my generation of people that started to become, to be activists, we've understood like being activist is something that you, it's, it's you know, touchable, you know, like something that you do for the community. So campaigning is something as abstract, not just for me, but for, for them as well. And trying to, to you know, to, to get people who have day, everyday struggles, understanding this abstract concept of campaigning and being involved in that, it's not, it's not an easy task. One of the things that we, obviously, because I've started in 2016, so soon after the referendum, more, a lot of my work was focused on Brexit. And uh, because the community had you know, lots of concerns, a lot of my work was focused around that and campaigning around Brexit. So then one of the things that we've done in collaboration with the APPG was that we organized this meeting in the parliament around Brexit and how Brexit is, Brexit is affecting the Roma community and um, again that was a really good event, an emotional event. What we decided to do is to invite community members from different cities in the UK. Um, you know what happened obviously there were some people who were given opportunity to speak and everyone was so positive about how they feel about UK Everyone was saying that you know they 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 feel UK their home. They had better opportunities for their children. They had better opportunities for themselves to themselves to find work and things like this. Yes, still there were things bad things happening in the UK as well, but not so much when comparing to to other countries. Although Brexit is something that obviously we didn't want it to happen. Um, it was something that that bring us all together, that united the community, and not just the community, united charities and organizations that wanted to help people around this issue. We want like people, the regular people from the community, to start being be more involved in campaigning, and and to understand more about that, because that's that's one thing that we are totally missing. We we don't have this we don't stand up for, for fighting for our rights uh, we are not well represented um, and we don't understand how that can impact um, 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 you know our, our futures and our lives and i think this this work around campaigning is extremely extremely important